Hello, Bengals fans. I am Matt Minnick, and this is Shock Talk. Today, we're going to talk about the one thing that people want to talk about from that Steelers game, and that is Hakeem Adeniji. The rookie sixth round pick has started the last two games for the Bengals with the injury and COVID issues that they have had at the tackle position, and he has been pretty impressive. Now, I've been a huge fan of Adeniji from the beginning. Dave Lapham jumped on board pretty quickly in training camp, and I think this guy has a huge potential and a great future with this organization, but he is a rookie. I put out a lot of clips of all the positive plays that he's had in these games and the potential that he's really showing, but there's another side of the story. He is a rookie, is making some mistakes. There are definitely some things that he needs to work on. So this is gonna be a pretty well-rounded piece where I'm gonna talk about some of the things he does really well, but also some of the struggles he's had. And we'll show you where he has improved from his first start to his second start as well. So grab a nice cold Narragansett, pull up a chair, and let's talk a little Akeem Adeniji. Let's take a look at what this guy's done in his two starts at left tackle. We'll go back a couple weeks here to the Tennessee game. All right, and we're gonna get a D-line twist here. So look, the Bengals have a lot of problems with these sort of things and, and there's different ways to do them, right? Could be this guy's coming out wide and this guy's stepping in and looping around, all right? Or alternatively, right, it could be that we get the first action from the outside and then we get a step and a loop around. And these things have caused the Bengals a lot of problems this year, especially with the interior offensive line. They haven't been able to communicate and pick those things up. But Akeem is a really smart guy and he's done a pretty good job with it. So as we look at this play, you're gonna see he sees it, but a little bit too late, right? He, he sees that, that loop coming around, he adjusts to it. If Burrow holds onto this ball any longer though, he's getting hit. But again, he's a rookie, right? You want to see that he's seeing it, and you want to see him ad adapt and adjust. A little bit later in that drive, we see one that's not picked up. All right, Hakeem steps down hard. He really turns away, and that loop comes around the outside. So this time, he's not really seeing it at all. And there's no communication between him and Shaq Calhoun. All right, now let's fast forward to this week. Again, he's the left tackle. This is going to be a little bit slow developing. But you can see, the DN comes in, he steps down on it, and then as the defensive tackle comes out, he picks it up. So, much better job. Again, you see that rookie development here, and you see that processing. You see the smart guys, you see these things, and he's changing week to week. Now, he did have a problem with that a little bit later in the game. But we're gonna see, again, he's the left tackle here. All right, he steps out wide right away. The defensive tackle loops out to him. It really brings it to him. This is the problem though. Look, he doesn't exactly see what's going on right away. The defender initiates contact. We'll slow it down a little bit here. He turns and look at the shot he's taking, right? Now to block and to protect the inside, it's really all about your inside foot. And you can see, again, he's getting shocked back. You see the shot he's taken. Look at that inside foot. Now he's in trouble. Now he's really in trouble, right? Legs are getting too wide. He's losing his power and really opening that door for the inside move. Now, really to me, like that sack is on him. It's not his guy that made the sack, but that's what puts the initial pressure on Burrow that forces him to do that little spin move and try and get out and really gets him right there to, to Dupree. Now last week he had some issues when the defender tried to go to the inside. We're gonna see that right here. One example, but this happened multiple times in his first start. 
So what's that about, right? That's, that's you're thinking about protecting the edge and you give up the inside. You see how he leans to the outside? Cause he's worried about that outside edge. And now his body is just so far away. And I mean, if you kind of like slowly put yourself in this position, you know, look, the position he's in right now, you know, you, you bend your knees, you get low and you're, and you're pretty square. You can adjust, right? You can move side to side. And the position he's in right here, it doesn't matter where this guy goes, all right? But as we keep watching here, that's where it is, right? He starts to bite, he starts to lean, and that really opens up the door. All right, so that's a correctable mistake. It's a rookie mistake, all right? But it's an issue. Against the Steelers, I really thought it was the opposite problem. I thought the outside, the wide rush was giving him some issues at times. And you can see this example here. Look, this guy doesn't get here. Again, bro, gets rid of the ball real quick. But, you know, that guy's starting to get the edge on him there. If he throws a little better move and, and, and Burrow holds on to the ball for another second, I mean, you know, the pressure's getting there uh, as the ball's released. So, again, now we kind of have the opposite. You know, you make, uh, you make adjustments one way or another. Uh, but this guy has the tools, right? He has the athleticism, and we've seen it, that he can make adjustments um, he's got the, you know, the mindset, the processing skills to be able to do that. And he definitely has the athletic ability. I mean, you see how, how well the guy moves. Is it just about putting all those things together and being able to act on the fly, you know, to, to really see things, adjust and move in the way you need to, to make the play. All right. So now we're going to take a little look at the run game. He's the left tackle here. And this is just a base block. Look, the runs to him, you're, you're seeing a lot of this, you know, similar looks to this where it's a stand-up edge player. You know, he's not necessarily locking him out and driving him down the field, but he's keeping the guy out of there, right? He's getting the guy out of the way. He's, he's definitely kicking him out. So, you know, that's something that we need to see against, you know, more of a true 4-3 team. Can he take on a, a defensive end who's a little bit more of a run stopper, and get some movement, get really get some drive on him. You know, the way you see like this double team from Trey and Michael Jordan, right? They're getting some movement, they're getting some push. Can he do that? You know, that that's gonna be a question for me. And that's the thing, like you talk about him as a, a potential right tackle and Bobby Hart, they, they say they like him because of his run blocking. So is he gonna be able to get that type of movement to be that guy that they want at that spot? Again, another reason why I talk about him as being a guy that they could use a year to get stronger and to, to beef up a little bit. So obviously this is a very different type of block, but we're gonna watch him right here as he goes to reach this, this four eye on the back side. And look, this is, this is a very good defensive lineman, but you're gonna see what I'm talking about in terms of adding strength. He gets in, he engages, he reaches a little bit, but he can get thrown as well. Now, this was effective because he got thrown opposite of where the play was going, so, I mean, that guy essentially blocked himself. But, I mean, you don't want to see that, and you're not going to want to see that at the, at the point of attack, for sure. But don't get me wrong, this guy does some things very well. He's an extremely athletic guy, all right? Really good athlete for a man of that size. And you see a great block from him here, getting up to the linebacker. It was actually featured in the weekly lineman video that John Sheeran did this week as well. There he is, 77, up to linebacker. Good block, really nice hole there. Uh, some key blocks there from Adenogy and Tyler Boyd. Just like we talked about at the beginning of the year, this offense, this team, Man, they need good blocking out of Hakeem Adenogy and Tyler Boyd, so Samaj P. Ryan can get those big runs, right? And watch him pull here. He's coming around, leading up to the linebacker. All right, this is a play that they ran quite a bit of since he's been in the lineup, actually. So he's probably trying to make use of what they know is his strengths. Good recognition there by Jim Turner, understanding what these guys can do. But that's awesome. 
right? Comes around, fires this guy, gets the block. He pretty much blocks three guys here. He takes up all that space. And another big time run for Pirine. Here's another example, getting up to a linebacker, right? Wide zone, going the other direction. Cuts pretty tight here, so it's a good job. I mean, he, he does an awesome job here. Again, think about the size of this guy. And if you look at the angle he's taking to get there, turns, makes that block. Awesome job. All right, so that is Hakeem Adeniji. A little bit of a look at what he has done so far. Now, look, the Bengals are getting healthy. Looks like Jones is going to be back, uh, possibly Bobby Hart, and Fred Johnson has come off of the COVID list. So Adeniji might be the fourth tackle again on this depth chart. And I think, you know, you see the potential and you want him in there because you see that he could be the number two tackle on this team. He could be a starter, a bookend, along with Jonah Williams for the future and for a long time in Cincinnati. You definitely see that potential. But I think you see from some of these clips as well that he's a rookie. Like, he does need to come along. Um, he could afford to add some strength. So there are definitely some things that he needs to work on in the offseason. I'd love to see him out there again too, but if he's not, that's why. All right, that's what's going on with that. And it doesn't mean he doesn't have a bright future in Cincinnati. Again, we're talking about a tackle who's a rookie sixth round pick. All right, tackles do not go that late. All right, good ones do not last that long. So we still got a, a huge, massive steal on our hands. And again, I think a potential future starter in Adenergy, but it might just not be on the timetable that we all want it to be on, unfortunately. So that is the show for today. Thank you for checking it out. Make sure this Sunday you are uh, tuning in to the virtual tailgate pregame show brought to you by Narragansett, and that is live an hour before the game on Facebook, YouTube, and now streaming on Twitter as well. So make sure you are checking that out. We'll get you ready as the Bengals take on the Washington football team and look to get back in the wing column. See you then. Who day? Red 7, hot rock.